All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to patch Glenk's practice hack onto an OOT ROM. So first, I'm going to head over to the Ocarina of Time Discord. I'm going to head to Information Resources. And here, I will find OOT Practice ROM by Glenk. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to download the latest version, the zip file here, not source code, the zip file here. Once that is done, I'm going to open that up. Now here's everything you're going to need. Um, you do not want to work with the files like this. Right now they are zipped up, they are compressed. Uh, the patch will not work like this. What you need to do is create a new folder anywhere on your system. Call it practice ROM. And you want to drag all of the files that you just downloaded to here to extract it. Now in here I can work with these files. Now, patching the ROM is very easy. All you're going to do is drag a, um, a working Ocarina of Time ROM onto the patch file right here. So I'm just going to drag and drop. A window is going to come up and it's going to say patching ROM done. If that happens, that's perfect. It worked just fine. Press any key to continue and you're done. And now the patched ROM will be right here, ready to go. Um, just one thing to note. Um, if you have multiple hard drives in your system, like I do, um, the ROM has to be on the same drive as the folder that you created. So in this case, I created the folder on my desktop and I have the ROM on my desktop. It can be anywhere on my C drive here and it'll work. But if I tried to drag the ROM from my E drive, it would not work. So that's just something to keep in mind. But other than that, yeah, it's a really easy process. Um, if you have any questions, let me know on Discord.